Hey guys, what is going on? Hayden here. Now, the Nintendo Switch was revealed yesterday, and one of the games they showed off was Mario Kart. Was it Mario Kart 8, or was it something else? I've got reason to believe why it could actually be a Double Dash sequel, or an HD remake of Double Dash. Sort of. I'll let you guys see what I have to say. First of all, let's look at the fact that King Boo is actually playable in this game. King Boo is a character that originated from Double Dash. Now, he was also in Mario Kart Wii, yes, but he did originate in Double Dash. Now, I know what you guys might be thinking. This could be the same treatment as DLC characters, where they just kind of get added in, whereas this is a Mario Kart 8 port, they might just add in King Boo as another character. But there's a few other things we should look at first. There's another really obvious thing on the screen right now, and that's the fact that there's two items on each character's screen. Now, this could mean two things. The first and the less exciting option is that in Mario Kart 8, they removed the feature that um, allowed you to have an item behind you and have another item ready to use. So what I mean by that is, say in Mario Kart 8 when you get a banana and you want to hold it behind you as a shield, you were not able to pick up another item until that banana was released from your grip. So, this could be something that Nintendo is bringing back to the Mario Kart formula, where you're allowed to hold an item behind you and have another item in your inventory. Or, the more exciting option is that there's two items there, because there's actually going to be two characters in the cart. Like in Double Dash. Now, why don't they just show that right now? Well, this reveal trailer really wasn't meant to show off the games, but more so to show off what the system is. And if Nintendo showed off a really big feature like that coming to a new Mario Kart game, that would take a lot of wind out of the actual reveal. That's a feature that's big enough where they would want to actually save it for the official game reveal. Next, let's take a look at the fact that we're racing on Yoshi's Circuit, a stage that came from Mario Kart Double Dash. Now, I know what you might be thinking, this was also a stage that was brought back from Mario Kart 8. But it's kind of hard to ignore the fact that this is the third Double Dash reference I've been able to point out. Now, let's take a look at the fact that it says GCN on the banner, referencing the fact that this did come from Mario Kart Double Dash on the GameCube. If that is the case, why would they reference the fact that this is a GameCube stage if this is actually Double Dash HD? Well, that doesn't make much sense, does it? So I think it's safe to say that this isn't Double Dash HD. But, that doesn't mean that there can't be a Double Dash mode implemented into Mario Kart 8. Let's be real, this looks exactly like Mario Kart 8, with maybe a little new content or some new features. Well, what if those new features are actually part of a Double Dash mode, being the dual items, and the fact that you could, potentially, have two characters on your race cart? Again, I just mentioned they wouldn't show that now because that would take a lot of um, the wind out of their out of their sale, I guess, of this game, out of the reveal. I think that they've shown three Double Dash references here in this trailer. I think it isn't coincidence. You know, Nintendo really does like to be kind of sneaky with what they like to hide in their trailers, such as how the fact that Sakurai said it's time for the climax right before revealing Bayonetta. No one realized that until after Bayonetta was revealed. Anyway, that's just a little example, but I think this could be a Double Dash mode implemented into Mario Kart 8 instead of a Double Dash sequel or a Double Dash HD remake. One even more reason to believe why this could be a Double Dash mode? Well, let's take a look at the fact that these two guys are using the two Joy-Cons that attach to the Nintendo Switch, which come together to make the entire Nintendo Switch controller. This could metaphorically symbolize the fact that these two guys could be working together in one cart. Now again, they wouldn't show that off because that would really take a lot of the hype out of the actual reveal of this game, but it could just be something there that's being used to symbolize the fact that this could be a part of the game. Two guys using the two halves of the controller to come together as one racing unit. I don't know, just thought I'd point it out. And finally, this is the Nintendo Switch after all. Why not switch up the formula? Huh? Huh? Ugh. So, there you have it. Could it be a sequel? Could it be a remake? Could it be a mode in Mario Kart 8? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already for more Nintendo analysis, discussions, updates, all that good stuff. And make sure to follow me on Twitter, which there's a link for in the description below, for up-to-date stuff on all of my videos, my life, all that kind of good stuff. Alright, peace out guys. Bye.